Hey everyone, this is Elena and today I'm going to be doing a video where I show you how I do my clean sketches. Now I just want to apologize in advance for the poor audio quality. I don't have the greatest microphone so I'm just using my laptop microphone so if you hear static noises I'm really sorry. I try to edit it out but it doesn't seem to want to go away and um, yeah. So, I uh, just want to let you know that this video has already been pre-recorded, so right now I'm just kind of recording my voice over it. That way I can actually pay attention to what it is I was doing in the video. And yeah, so let's go on with the video now. Okay, so for the sketch, I only use pretty much two tools or brushes, which is normally the uh, sketch brush and, of course, for the eraser. Uh, I'll be leaving the settings for both uh, the sketch and for the eraser in the details or description below. Also, the eraser tool that I use, the settings I have for it, it erases kind of more... It erases really smooth, so there aren't any hard edges so sometimes you'll have some pencil marks still left over that you can hardly see so it'd be best if you zoomed in and do that also um, a lot of the tools that I use I normally get from other artists like and I look at their settings that their brush settings that they have either on YouTube or on DeviantArt unfortunately I don't have the link to them so I'm probably going to have to find those later, but uh, for now, I'll just leave the settings below in the description. Okay, so I already had a sketch already, a rough sketch already made, and so right now I'm going to the clean sketch, and I was trying to see which size I wanted to work with. And normally, I work with a size 4 or a size 9 for uh, the clean sketch. If you use the sketch tool, like the one I use, and you use a size 9, the bigger the size is, the more the lines look like. It looks more smooth, almost like you're painting with it. And uh, whenever I use a clean sketch, I always make another layer on top of the rough sketch, and I lower the opacity of the rough sketch to a lower percentage, so it's kind of transparent, a little bit transparent or clear. That way, when you make a new layer on top of it, you're able to see more clearly uh, what you're drawing for the clear sketch. And I don't really have a specific way of doing things, like which part of the body I work with first, or which part of the drawing I work first. I guess normally I start with a head, but that's just me. Sometimes I work other ways to other uh, parts. And if you can see, like, during the video, a lot of times I had an idea, initial idea, but then I kind of change it. Like right now, uh, I was planning on doing with the hands on the chest, but I kind of changed it right now because I, I don't know, it doesn't look right to me now. And I thought maybe she should be holding some kind of staff or something because She's supposed to be some kind of magician. This drawing has been kind of inspired by Wonderland because I saw the new um, Alice in Wonderland movie, so. Sometimes you'll see that I'll keep turning off the rough sketch layer so I can see the clean sketch altogether. 
and what it is, the reason why I do that is that way I can see exactly how the clean sketch looks. Because sometimes when you have both uh, layers on together and you keep drawing, uh, you tend to get confused. So it's best to kind of switch between layers every so often to see how it looks in case you need to make any changes. Here I was drawing uh, the design for the little decoration design for her uh, net and I was trying to do something originally that was going to look kind of like what was in her hair, the little berets in her hair, but I decided against it. So I didn't do that, but it's really helpful if you draw on the side sometimes and try to draw like, you know, to get an idea of what you want and, and just have fun with it. Don't be limited. During this part, I was having a little bit of trouble of how to draw the left arm, so I started to look my own arm, look at my own arm in the mirror, and try to see how to go from there, which I still had a lot of trouble, so um, it's okay if you don't know how to draw something to, you know, use a reference, but uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to copy the reference entirely, so... And also, if you do use a uh, reference, make sure to credit. drawing the hair and I decided to, I was drawing the braids and I decided to erase the bottom part because it kind of looked like freaking daggers or something, they were too sharp. at this part I have no idea what I was doing I'm just winging it 
and for some reason I decided to try and draw a freaking cupcake and I have no idea what that has anything to do with a magician so of course I deleted that and I started doing random shapes but they seemed a bit too distracting so I eventually just got rid of those and did a more simple design. background I decided to draw kind of a little bit more simple background instead of a complicated one and so within the circle behind the girl there's going to be kind of like a purple starry night sky which will be shown later in a video new video later on which that's when I'll be showing you how I color and stuff like that but that's probably going to be the last video because I'm going through step-by-step -step videos from the sketch to the coloring the skin and eyes to the hair, clothes and things, etc. So if, I mean, if you really don't want to make a background, that's fine, you know but if you really, if you don't want like a white, completely white background then you, I don't know, you might want to consider doing something like this at least that way you got something in the back, but that's completely optional. And I was planning on doing some kind of stripes uh, for some kind of pattern in the back, but I don't know, it, it looked kind of strange to me, and frankly, it kind of bothered my eyes. So I got rid of that, and I started doing kind of a more, um, kind of a little bit more elegant design with uh, some kind of crystals or something hanging from it. The next video will I will be showing you how I colored the skin and the eyes and then after that I'll be posting a video of how I do the hair and, and so on and so forth. And if you liked this video, please leave a comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.